I mean, you want to call? Who's holding you? Yes, Abdullah. Yeah, I was actually having a hard time downloading Skype. I was unable to no problem. sign in. What do you want to say to us, Abdullah? Well, <laughs> well you're telling that Prophet Muhammad was racist because he said, uh, uh, like you mentioned the hadith referring to black dogs as a devil, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how does that in any way suggest that black people are destined for hell? Well, we can show you a different hadith if this one will not help. What about this one? What about this one? Hold on. What about what about this one? Read, read with me in the screen. Please. Read with me in the screen. <clears throat> what do you say about this one? All right. What is your comment? Read it for me. I'm listening. Wait a second, I'm a little confused. Wait a second. Read for me the hadith. You said that the hadith about dogs is not enough to prove that this is about racism. And I'm providing you a different hadith now to prove it. Read this hadith for me. All right, all right. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white offspring as it were they as as if they were white ants he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if they were charcoal he he then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and i do not mind then he said to those who had been emitted from his left shoulder they are for hell and i do not mind hmm. So what do you think? Well, is it from a trustful source? Uh, this is the story now. The second we mention something, it's a, a Tirmidhi. Yeah, this is a, a Tirmidhi. is a Sahih book. No, not all quotes come from ah, reliable sources. not I all. Like to yeah. Any, so why it is the, any, why it is in a book of a scholar? His name is a Tirmidhi. Ah, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. Why it is in a book which is a scholar, Muslim scholar book? It's called Sahih. The Sahih are six books. One of them is a Tirmidhi. Yeah, but okay. Sayyid Bukhari, Sayyid Muslim, and Sunan Abu Dawood are more reliable. Ah, when so it's up to you now. You take whatever you like. Okay, whatever you like. Okay, so now what we will do? We dump all this yeah. book in the garbage. Okay, if I find you something similar in Sahih Bukhari, you will dump Sahih Bukhari? Is Sahih Bukhari? Oh, let, is, oh, oh, let me ask oh, you a question. Let's for a second. I, is, is let's a, a, do you a agree second. with everything in Sahih Bukhari? Yes or no? No, what, what, what do you say? Do you agree with everything in Sahih Bukhari? It's not like that. Some hadiths were fabricated. Ah, fabricated. some hadith are fabricated. That's so it. here we go. Anything, guys, it doesn't matter what the book you give them. It doesn't matter. A second ago, he said Sahih Bukhari. Now we say to him Sahih Bukhari. He said, no, the, the, because he knew we can show things from Sahih Bukhari, which is ugly. And then he would say, I don't accept it because this is fabricated. So the, right, what, you you me, what you are saying to me, what you are saying to me is very important. Listen, listen. What you are saying to me is very important. You are saying to me, Islam have no any authentic sources. Are you saying that? No, I'm not saying that. So where is the authentic source of Islam? I'll come to that, but let me respond to the... Uh, where is the authentic refer. Where is the authentic source, resource of Islam? Where we can find it? Sahih al-Bukhari have, have, have bad stuff, you say. Source. Huh? Which the book? Which which book is a, which, which books are the one is a guaranteed for you as a Muslim to le, to learn from? The Quran. The Quran. And okay, show me in the Quran. Show me in the Quran days. the punishment of rape. No, not. You see, if if if, if everything was mentioned in the Quran, it would have been a very very lengthy book. Uh, some things are also mentioned in the hadith. So if this, uh, if a hadith is in a plenty of books, if the hadith is in a plenty of books, this is a reason for you to accept it. What? If a hadith is mentioned mean? in many books, this is a reason for you to accept it. Well, I have to admit that in any case. What? I have to accept that if it's reliable, you know. How, how you know it's reliable? I mean, you've been in the time of Muhammad, you are there, you were witnessing, how you know? I guess there's a 
uh, textual criticism of hadith. Okay, let they, me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If the hadith, if the Muslims agree that the hadith is sahih. Hmm. Do you agree with it? What? If the only Muslim says that this yeah. is Sahih, do you agree with it? Okay, here we go. In front of us, it says, the Messenger of Allah said, if we're not that dogs were part of nations among the nation, then I would order to that all of them to be killed. So kill every one of them that is black. Do you accept this hadith? Well, dogs created a problem back then. They... My friend, he is not talking about dogs making problems. He's talking about specific dogs because of the color black. Any animal which is totally black, kill it. Read it. He didn't say yeah, the one who's biting you. That. He didn't say the one is bar barking. He's not saying that. He's saying... But, but, kill. but you know that later on he came with the restriction not to kill the shepherd uh, after dogs. people complain yeah. this is because of complaining uh, in the beginning as you see he said he hate dogs read with me if not if it, it, it were not that dogs were part of nations among the nations then i would order to kill them all he hate all dogs and he did this is what he did he killed all the dogs but when people they start complaining because those people they have animals they need the dogs to guard them this is a stupid decision. So they he start, you know, people they start saying, What is that? How we can live without dogs? We live in the desert. So then he changed his mind and then he said, Okay, kill the black dogs. Now, why we want to kill the black dog? Explain to us. Black dogs. Hmm. I'm telling you, they they would cause problems to the local people. That's why. I, so there is the black dogs why. only cause the problems. Now you're going to ask that if red dogs were not causing problem or if the yellow dogs were not yeah. causing Yeah, so problem. why the black dogs? It's the question. Why the black dogs? Uh, it might be that they were more likely to attack you. They are what? It might be that they were more likely to attack you. My they friend, more, my friend, uh, why, why we not why wanna play aggressive. why we wanna play this game? Your prophet said the reason. He said because the black dog is the devil. He didn't say because they attack you. Did he say that? No, in this particular hadith, he didn't. But they are there are others as well. Show and me the one. Other. Show me the one. It says that the black dogs attack you. I challenge you. Uh, I, I have to search that. Ah, you have to search. I will give you 10 years. Is that fine? <laughs> it's not 15 like that. years. No, 20 years. 20 years. Are we going to meet in 20 years and they will give me the hadith? No, you see, this, this video, my friend, this video is going to be posted autom automatically in YouTube. I want you to pause for me. I will give you 10 weeks from now, 10 years. Pause for me the hadith where it says that the blog, the black dogs attack people. I want to see it. I want to learn from you. Okay, already I'm mm. searching. If I now, find it, I'll definitely Now, listen, listen, listen. So what distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog? Muhammad, he said, it's the devil. He didn't say he bite more. Do you see it? <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Why he is the devil? Uh, you mean why are black dogs associated with devil? It not he is not associating. He is saying he is the devil. He did not associate it. He said he is the devil. That's okay. why you need to kill it. Black dog is the devil. Yes. No, but uh, it, it depends on how what devil is like. It's, it's, my friend, in Arabic, in Arabic, it says shaitan. Shaitan. You know what shaitan means. Don't tell me depend what the devil is. It does not even use the word uh, devil. No. It says shaitan. Satan. He is Satan. Al kalbul aswadu shaitan. He didn't say even a devil. This is a false translation. He named him as Satan. <coughs> so why he is Satan and why we need to kill him? Give me, well, a, give me a legitimate reason for the dog, which is a black only, not the red dog, not the yellow dog, to be killed for he is shaitan. Why he is shaitan? And what is the proof? What I think is that dark color is associated with evil in general sense, like darkness. Hmm. That's why he might have said. Okay, let me ask you. It is it true in the judgment day Allah will make all Muslims white? Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen you. Okay, so what do you say, what do you say about that? Allah will make all Muslims black. Uh, sorry, white. Uh, what I believe that by white it means pure, pure from sin. Hmm. 
but it doesn't say that it says so, your face will turn white it doesn't say pure so, or pure yeah but you see i i posted a comment in the live chat mm. like uh there is a metaphorical sense and there is a literal sense too simultaneously for example uh, i would like to el elaborate this in a way uh, the whiteness indicates purity and it also makes it distinguish distinguishable from mm. sin uh, those people who will be turned white uh, will be distinguished from black people which uh, which are delved into sin so simultaneously it in uh, it is in a metaphorical sense and a literal sense too hmm okay but you know the, uh, like when when like when it, it says when it says that, listen 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 in the story it says that there's a beast will hit you in your face and this face is not metaphorical and it's going to use a physical stick of I'm saying, I'm saying there's two yeah okay, so uh, so where is the metaphorical why the why are you okay you, you, let, let us let us do this let us do this who is the scholar he said this is metaphorical there might be none ah, I mean, so all sure muslim scholars hold on hold on hold on so you are saying muslim scholars don't take it as something metaphorical only you to defend islam you say it's metaphorical no it's not like that i so uh, okay, so I name for me let us go back to zero me. then name for me the scholar who say this is metaphorical all I'm saying is that I don't know. Don't tell me I don't know. I mean, you are scholars. the Muslim calling me to convince me of something. And now I'm showing you your scholar saying that this is not metaphorical. This is real. So why you are coming with something is not there. Are you saying you know what the Quran meant more than the scholars? No, I'm not saying that. So why Ibn Kathir is saying? Do you think Ibn Kathir? Let, me, let, let, us be, let us be honest. Uh, uh, Mr. Well, I don't know what's your name. What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad do you Abdullah. think Do you think uh, Ibn Kathir is a donkey? No, I don't. Do think you that. think he's a stupid? No. Do you think he don't speak good Arabic? No, he does speak Arabic. He's an Arab, no. So he's a he's yeah. a Ibn Kathir. So so why he's saying this? Uh, this uh, what you're presenting on the screen? Yeah. Why Why he's saying that? Why, why it come to his mind that this is what is going to happen, this is what it's meant. So how does is this in any way is a racist? Like because all the believers will be white, all these believers will be black. Uh, wait a second. Hey, hey, let, me, uh, let me give you another example. For uh, example, uh, in Islam, we are ordered to shake hands with the right hand and not and to enter doors with the right foot. Does this mean that left-handed people are cursed? Of course not. Same thing yes. with black or African yes. people. Yes, your prophet Islam he said. No okay, no, them. no. Your prophet said that the one who eat with the left hand shaitan he will share with him. He's cursed. If you share with shaitan, you are cursed. I can show you the verse from the Quran. Is it All true? Right. Is it true? Is it true that if you eat with your left hand? Shaitan, he shared with you, yes or no? I've not read that hadith, so I can't say it might be true. No, I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, you did not learn anything like this? No, I've not heard that. So you are allowed I to... I was told not to eat. I was told not to eat with my left hand, but I was not No, no, I'm that. asking you. What was the... Did they teach you? Did they, they teach you uh, that yeah. eating with the left hand is haram, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Why? Is that because Muhammad have a phobia? No, it's because the devil eats with his left ah, hand. Ah, like so okay, if the devil eat with his left hand, so your prophet is saying that if you eat with the left hand, you are devil too. Not exactly, but you're uh, you're emulating him if you're uh -huh. eating with your left hand. Well, we never saw the devil anyway, and who care? God, he created us with two hands. So why would I use only one for for? Did did God say that, or Muhammad came in with a story which is funny? No, the God must have said to Muhammad. Let me ask you, do, do shaitan kiss? I don't know. Okay, do shaitan take a nap? <laughs> Inside the nose, you mean? No, no, I'm not talking about this. According to your prophet, that he don't take a nap, not sleep. He sleep, but he don't take a nap. 
like you know uh, you know na na the nap I'm talking about like afternoon I, I know I know okay so why your prophet saying that uh, uh, take a nap afternoon because shaitan he don't do that why why I have to do the opposite from shaitan what does that mean what me taking a nap because had to shaitan do shaitan is the devil you cannot my friend what this had to do I mean I'm, I'm going to be better now because I take a nap afternoon what does this mean shaitan don't take a nap afternoon where Muhammad getting this from we He's can't a find the hadith from God huh Prophet of God, what, what, prophet. where is where is God? He said that. And not not everything are mentioned in the hadith, but some things are taken as presumptuous because, in order to obey Him, we need to accept that as true. Because if we deny that, then how can we accept but, Him? But but this but this is mean that this is mean that Muhammad is fabricating stories because where he got this from? No 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 no. It does not mean that. How okay. Do you, how do you? You say heard that? The, your prophet saying that if you don't say a prayer before you have sex, Shaitan will wrap himself around your penis. Yes or no? I don't know, but he might have said that. So I okay. So that he too. said that. Not might. Don't tell me might. That will make me angry. Either you say he said or you say <laughs> he might. If you say he might, I don't know. No, you have to say yes. Otherwise, you are to force me to make you read it. So <laughs> okay, now, Shaitan, <laughs> do you really believe your prophet when he said? That shaitan he wrap himself around the penis of a man if you don't pray to Allah before sex. Yes or no? I it, have to say yes because okay, okay, I don't know. Okay, but Muhammad, guys, did, did, did Mr. Muhammad say I have to say yes? He said yes, right? Okay, so now if you don't have a prayer before you have sex with your wife, shaitan will have intercourse with you, with your wife, and he will make your son the son of the shaitan. Do you agree? No. But he's just your prophet, he said. But how does that mean that the son which will be born would yes, be the son of Satan? Yes, yes, because this is what your prophet said. Are you saying he's lying? <laughs> Are you saying just say it? Are you saying that whoever believes in this is a liar? Say it. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, so you believe in it now. Say yes. No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> Do you believe or you don't? I don't like so-so, Muhammad. I like straight answers. So, do you believe in what Muhammad said? That shaitan will sleep with you and he will share with you with your children, which means he will have kids from you, from your wife. Uh, how, how, do, how does that imply that he will, uh, the kid which will be born? Is, would don't be, ask me. Ask your prophet. I'm asking you. If your prophet said that, are you willing to say he's stupid? No, why would I say You just that? said that because you said how this imply? Yeah, I'm saying, how does this imply? So why your prophet so saying that? So why your prophet saying that? Uh, you need to show me the hadith now. Okay. I want to show you, uh, if I show you a weak hadith, is that accepted? Uh, weak hadith, like day one. But yeah, you don't like it? You don't, is, it is that accepted no, or not? I don't not? like that. Okay, because it's, it's coming from the Quran. So this is the da'if hadith from the Quran. Guys, he said, if it's a da'if, he will not accept it. Let us see how we will play with this one. This is Quran, my friend. <laughs> Read with me. Actually, I'm suffering from cold. That's why I'm coughing. My friend, and drink again. camel urine. It's the best. وَشَارِكَهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ Do you see it? Do you want me to show you the interpretation for this verse? Yeah, in English. What is the interpretation for this verse? Do you know? Hmm? What is that? Is that Arabic supposedly? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is sound like uh, gibberish. I'm not a native Arabic speaker. No, neither hmm. I speak English properly. Hmm. Okay. So what do you say about this verse? Let me read the interpretation. Do you want Ibn Kathir or you want... Uh... Hold on, let Ibn me show Kathir you. Ibn Kathir would be fine. Ibn Kathir would be fine? Okay. Let us see Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> Where is Ibn Kathir? Okay.
But Abni Kathir, a second ago, he spoke about white and black. You did not accept him. So what we will do now? No, so you you will you will, will pick up and choose. That, so now, if Ibn Kathir if Ibn so. Kathir saying something you like, you will you, you will agree. Do you promise me you will agree? No, it's not like that. Ah, it's not like that. It's not like that. Ah, all right, all right. I see. You have to be consistent, right? Uh huh. Consistent. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All of this is about the story. Read with me carefully. And you are the one who chose Ibn Kathir. When one of you wants to have intercourse with his wives, let him say, in the name of Allah, O oh Allah keeps us away from shaitan. And yeah. keep, keep shaitan away from what you bestow on us. Children, between two brackets, the children. Then if the child is the dec decree uh, uh, decree for them from that the shaitan will never harm him Do you see it? Is that metaphorical? No, it's not it's not metaphorical, but where mm -hmm. does it say that the child would if born but uh, if the person not said bismillahirrahmanirrahim would be of Satan Let me show you Where does it say that? In Ibn Kathir, don't go to other interpreters. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that only Ibn Kathir, only, huh? Yeah, that would be fine. Oh, okay. this I'm just trying you don't you don't know your Arabic right uh. people are saying that I'm doing fake sickness Sam But before that, why don't you come to the first study that you referred? Okay. Hold on, let me show you. That Adam one. All right. Whoever wants to see Satan, let him take a look at. All right, I found you. Something you will like. Wait a second, let me turn on the chat. Yeah. <laughs> You're having a hard time finding that, right? Oh, no, not me. Keep dreaming. Here we go. Read with me. Mm. Uh, which source is this? Read with me. Read. This is a fatwa, and reported for you the reference of the Muslims. I will give you the link so you can you can check it out. The number of the fatwa. No, but uh, what sources are they using? Uh, they are using many books in the same time. All of them that are tafsir, and this is Ibn Abbas. Doesn't matter what source, because this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, who is mentioned by all tafsir. Read with me carefully. It says, "Waruya and Jafar reported by uh, hold on re reported by Jafar uh, that uh, uh, the son of Muhammad that the shaitan he he sat around around the penis of the man. If he did not say in the name of Allah, and he will be doing the women with him, and he is going to come inside her vagina." 
the same as the man he come inside her and it was mentioned that the prophet said which means that in the fikum of uh, uh, they said to the prophet who are they the mugharibun the word is strange for them he said those who the, the genies were shaitan share with them their children which mean have sex with their wives and it's mentioned by ibn abbas he said that my wife she woke up and she found in her vagina a flame of fire he said that because of she is having sex with the genie do you see it or not yeah i saw that okay what, what do you say does it say that the child would this is the shaitan having sex with you this one you need to, to, to make the prayer he's saying why we need to make the prayer why the prophet said pray before you have sex why because if you don't do that shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of the muslim man and he will be doing wife and he will leave fire there because his penis is fiery you know shaitan so his penis is not you, like yours he shoot fire for real not even even here there's a real muslim muslim she she's witnessing that she woke up in the morning and she find she found fire in her vagina and absolutely this is a true story what do you say? Are you going to say Ibn Abbas is a liar? And remember, this is the cousin what of Muhammad. What are you using? Here we go. This is here. He's quoting. Uh, uh, this is from Tafsir al baghawi and this is the same chapter we uh, are mentioning. The same chapter we are mentioning. This is reliable. Yes. This is fatwa. This is fatwa number. I've never heard of My it. friend, this is a fatwa number. Read with me. Fatwa number. Let me give you the link. I will give you the link in your Skype. No, I believe you. Uh, no, no, no. Go but search. You can give me. Uh, so I, no, I want you to search. I want you to make a video about it, my friend. All right. I want you to tell all your friends about it, about what happened here. I, I want you to show Christian Prince's line. You know, that's why I'm giving you the link. Here we go. And this is can be found in many in tons of books. Tons of books. It's not a place or you know, two or I got that. I got that. right. So this is what you Muslims believe that shaitan, this is not metaphorical, but the Muslims today, because they notice how stupid those statements are. So what they do, they play the game of metaphorical. Anything, they became metaphorical. This is not metaphorical. Never been metaphorical for 1,400 years. But today, because Muslims became more educated, they go to school, they go to university. So now, we cannot accept this garbage. We have to say it's a metaphorical. This is the truth, my friend. Tafsir al-Khatib stating right, that. Ma'alim but... al-Tanzir. Look how many tafsir. Look, all those tafsir. Let me continue. All the tafsirs are quoting the same thing, but now suddenly you Muslims, you are saying this is the tafsir, uh, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And look here what it says Ibn Abbas said that uh, actually, you know what? If you want to read more about this, I advise you to get my book. Did you have my book? The last no, one. I don't. Go, go, go to get it, man. You are missing a lot. You will learn about your religion, things you never heard before. All of it coming from authentic source, and you will see all the source mentioning page number, chapter number, everything. Go get my book. Because there I'm giving you all, right. all the details. And here you see, look, Ibn Abbas, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of, of, of Saudi Arabia. Let me show you the, the, the title there. Do you see the title in the top? Do you see the address, the web address? Yeah. Quran.ksu.education.sa no. Saudi Arabia. Do you see it? <coughs> Is it showing now? <coughs> yes, yes. All yes. right. Now, if we go down here, read carefully with me. This is to explain the same verse we are reading. Ibn Abbas, he said, Inna imra'ati istayqadat fi farjiha shalatun min nur. Uh, Ibn Abbas, he said, my wife, she woke up and in her vagina, she have a fire, and that because she have sex with the genie. And then he continue. Look, it says, uh, when Ib when Iblis, when Iblis, the father of Satan, he went out to the to the ground. He said, "Oh, oh Lord, oh Allah, you you kick me out of heaven. Huh? Give me give me a chance to to share Adam with his children." So he said to him, okay, so this is by permission of Allah. Shaitan, he can have sex with you, with your wife. I mean, amazing God. And then he said to him, etc. So this is what he, what, what, what the Quran is saying. And this is what Islamic interpretation is saying. But you Muslims. So what does this prove in any way? It proves uh, madness. Do you really believe Shaitan sleep with your wife? Be honest with me. 
I mean, I have to, even if I didn't know about that. Uh, don't don't, don't tell me I have to. Tell me either is that convincing for you or you have to? Convincing, there's a lot of things in religion which might. No, uh, no, because when you believe, either you are convinced or not. If you if you don't, if you don't believe, it's me you are not a believer. A person who believes, no, it's not like that. No, it's like that. A believer is somebody he believe. All right. So you don't believe. You are saying it's not convincing. Correct, guys. If somebody I, said, I didn't say it. you said I that, didn't say you, you said, you said, said, you said a lot of things in religion does, is not convincing. So either you convince or you I, are I'm, not convinced. I'm general, I, it was a general, generalized statement, which is true for every religion. Some and, and no, I'm talking about your religion, and I, you know that. I'm not talking about you believing my belief. No, talking about you. So you are talking to yourself about yourself. So it's not everything Islam is convincing. Is what you say. It kind of. Okay, so you don't believe you are not a Muslim. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you, my friend. Anyway, we uh, our time is up. Thank you, uh, Mr. Muhammad, for calling. Maybe you can call me a second but time. But you did not. Uh, uh, I I actually was I actually did not say what I wanted to say. It's okay. And next time, because you know my time is up. It's almost eight o'clock here for me, and I'm already for four hours here. So. Uh, you can call me next time. No problem, my friend. I will come anytime. I will come all Muslims who they are polite. They don't say a bad language to call me anytime. And uh, I'm not speaking against you, Muhammad. I'm trying to help you. Nothing personal. You do not know me. I do not know you. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I am not speaking against my people. I'm an Arab person. I don't hate them. Nobody hate. Nobody hate his mother and his father and his parents. Nobody hate his brothers and sisters, right? So we don't hate anyone. Yeah. We are trying to help people. This is gonna be from God, and this is very racist. A dog is a black. Not only it's racist, it's stupid. It's a dog, a stupid dog. Why in the world we gonna kill a dog because it's black? Are you really going to shoot a dog because it's black? Be honest with me. <laughs> that's madness. That's madness, and that 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 is not a, 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 like a speech of somebody who have some intellect. Not only. Even what kind of logic this logic is to say but, a dog he is or to, is, or to kill a lizard when Adam was created, no race or gender existed by him. Yeah, he was but, but, every race and gender of mankind. No, How but no, 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 no. When people? Adam and Eve created your prophet, explain. I showed you the hadith. I showed you the hadith. Your God Allah, He hit the shoulder of Adam, the right shoulder, and from there He provided but then there was no race. No, like there no is. He, he, this is how the race is created, according to him. According to no, your prophet. How can African or black people be taken into the offensive consideration if they didn't even exist yet? No, my friend. It from, is quite obvious. No, 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 no. You see, you don't understand Islam at it all. It is quite obvious. That uh, you don't understand Islam. No. It's, uh, the black people, they are created since the creation of Adam. You are not reading, my friend. You are not reading. When Adam was created, Allah. He hit the shoulder of Adam, the right shoulder, and this is how he made the white people. So they are created already. And then he hit the left shoulders of Adam. Adam, not Noah, not Muhammad, not you, not me. Adam, we are talking about the first man. So according to your prophet, the race, the division of race and black of white, created from the beginning, and this is the plan of Allah. The plan of Allah is that black go to hell, white go to heaven. And you are telling me this religion is not racist? No, so why would he create them in? Uh, why would he create create them anyway if he wants to send them to hell? Because he's a crazy and, God. Why uh, he created you? Why it, he created? No, no. It, let, it let, reminds let me. Of ask you, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Why Adam? Why Adam was kicked out of heaven? Because he ate the fruit of the tree. So uh, if which you commit sin, so you are saying to me because of his sin, right? Yeah. Okay. Muhammad, he said no. <clears throat> Muhammad. Look, uh, oh, you are going to tell the. Uh, uh, fate had it like yeah, 40,000 because this is his fate, yeah, his this, absolutely. This is his fate. This is not because he commits sin, uh, this is what Allah he planned for uh, him. So, you don't understand I've this time, my friend. Just responding to that, they say, mm -hmm. uh, fate is something or destiny is something, it's not what, uh, because of fate. Uh, actually, uh, wait a second, because of what you do, destiny, destiny is written. It's my, not my, my friend, my friend, forget about that. Don't, 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 don't waste your time. Here the story in front of you. We spoke about Adam. I asked you, do you think Adam was kicked out of heaven because of why well, he's kicked out of, uh, of heaven? You said because of sin, correct? You said that a second ago. Yeah. Okay. Here it's the opposite. Your prophet don't agree. Adam, he said to uh, to Moses, do you blame me? But Moses is blaming him for what? 
blaming him for the sin which means he believed the same as you believe that because he commits sin he's out of heaven so what Adam he said to him do you blame me for what Allah he wrote for and me 40 years, 40 years before so no you cannot blame me can we blame Adam for his sin yes or no no God knew what he was going to this do. is not about knowing no 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 that no this is not a, don't play games like but be honest this is it's, not about not no he, he is blaming him no 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 this is not about God knowing don't play it's games be opposite. honest it's the opposite it you, is not about blaming for his knowing or not he's saying to him do you be careful with me no it says Musa said to Adam would, uh, uh, Muhammad you are not being honest Musa said to Adam oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turn us out of paradise so what Adam ap uh, uh, accusation that you are the one the reason for us to go out of paradise Adam he said to him do you blame me for something written for me? So, you, which means you can't blame me. Why he can't blame him? Tell me why. Moses is blaming for the sin. Adam saying you can't blame me for my sin. Why? Because uh, Adam didn't know what he would do, but God knew what he would do. So, no, no, that's not what he's saying. That's what he this is not what he's no, eventually. no, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that this is what is written for uh, me. What is written for me. It's not my decision. Huh. What so, is written so, for so me? Why it's written? It's because that's what Adam would would do. That's what the choice no, of Adam. No, no. Oh, like, okay, like, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's exactly why it would. Muhammad, you are not being honest. Everybody is reading the hadith in front of us, and you are trying to defend something nobody can defend. You cannot, you cannot accuse Adam of sin because simply Adam saying. Can you blame me for something written? So you cannot blame me. He's blaming him about what? Blaming him about being sinner, not about God knowing, not knowing. He is not the whole conversation about not God knowing. The conversation is that because of you, you commit sin, and we are out of heaven. I get that. I get that. But I'm I'm just telling you the reason behind that. No, Why this is not the that reason, that? my friend. What what reason? The reason is in front of in front of us. You are the one who all made I'm us saying, all I'm saying God knew what Adam would do if uh, no your God uh, know nothing my friend your God know nothing we can prove it but according to the hadith yes Allah he knew but not only he knew he wrote his fate before fate fate huh. is your destiny so, which you will do it's not what hold on 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 is the Christians the Christians because of Allah want them to be Christians or because a Christian they want to be Christian Joy is there's free will. No, you will do and what listen, you will do. I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want, an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. The Christians are Christians because Christians decide to be Christian or because Allah He want them to be Christian. Are you going to quote chapter 4 verse? Um, I did not quote anything for you yet. Did I? No, hmm. so um, what is the answer? Is we are Christians because we choose to be will. Christians? Free will? Where is the free yeah. will? Where is the free will? Where is the free will? Well, all the all the verses you in, be anything you want. All the verses we are showing you in front of us. All the verses in the front of us. There's no free will. There's no free will in Islam. Do you know the hadith about the, the distance of a cubit between you and heaven? Do you know about it? No. Okay, let me show it to you then. Let us see the free will you are talking about, if it's real or not, or fiction. <coughs> Read this hadith with me, please. I cannot see that. Hold on, let me show it to you. Here we go. Go ahead, read. Allah's Messenger, the truthful. Where did it go? Allah's Apostle, the truthful and truly inspired, said, Each one of you collected in the womb of his mother 40 days and then turns into a clot for an equal period of 40 days and then turn, turns into a piece of flesh for a similar period of 40 days and then Allah sends an angel and orders him to write four things i.e. 
his provision, his age, and whether he will be of the wretched or the blessed in the heaven. Okay, in hold on, hold on. Who is going to decide if you will be rich or poor? Uh, God. Okay, is that the free will you are talking about? But all right, I see. Hmm. He will write for you everything will happen to your life as orders his age so is his age to him and his age his provision mm -hmm. whether he will be a bad or good person so where is the free will so you mean to say i'm not saying it's your prophet don't tell me you mean my friend don't tell me you mean it's your prophet saying where is the free will no what i think is because what we would do is written in the destiny not because it's written in no 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 it's read not with me, other way read around. With me. that's what i read mean. with me is your age is part of your uh, free will no it's not okay so all of those are in one item all of those are one item you will be rich or poor you will be good or bad you will be a believer or disbeliever all of them and your age so all of this is written by allah he decide for you now, if we continue reading, we will see something more dangerous. He said that then the soul is breathed into him by Allah and a person among you or a man, he may do, and read carefully with me please here, he may do the deeds of the people of the fire till there is only a cubit or an arm breathed distance between him and the fire so there's a guy he is doing everything as against islam until almost he is in the door of hellfire almost there there's a cubit which mm -hmm. means like a, a, a you know less than 60 centimeter okay now i'm close to the hellfire but then that written which allah ordered the angels to write proceed and he does the deed of the people of paradise and he enter it where is the free will all right it's not but it shows the mercy of allah what where is the free will it shows the mercy of allah that what shows what shows but my friend it says what is written my friend it says what is written by allah will take over it's not him changing what is allah written so but 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 we know that dua can change our destiny my friend this right? is not about dua. what are you do you see he's saying there he prayed to allah he repent no he's saying no, it, it, this, this does not say that but there are others don't don't, don't go there don't go there i have nothing to do this is about destiny say that. this is about destiny this is about destiny it's in front of you the guy is doing bad yeah, on his are. life what what is it what is in you what is in you what happened in this story in front of us what is in you did he turn to islam did he became a person who pray no all what it says but what is written by Allah order by the angel will take over it's not him this is Allah order it's not his decision <laughs> this is what is written the guy decision is to be filthy as you see all his life is doing the act of hellfire but then what is written will take over so in the beginning that that there is the free will <laughs> but he go to heaven by the by the but not by the free will by the decision of Allah for Allah he wrote for him when he created him you go to heaven same again Muhammad he repeat the same story he said there's a person of you he will go to heaven read with me what else read, read, read with me read me and he does okay <clears throat> read with me uh, and then he said and the man do the deeds of the paradise so this is different man now he do what he do the deeds of paradise people of paradise till there is only one a cubit or two between him and paradise okay until now he all this guy he is doing is the deed of paradise and then what that is written proceed what is written is written by whom by allah proceed and he does he does what he does what is written you see all his life he is doing the opposite now Allah he wrote something and that thing is going to take over Allah will reformat you let me but show you let, let, let us uh, yeah there is a reason the reason is clear there's no free will what about this uh, let me ask you if a child he, he die 
Where he go? If a baby child, a Muslim child, he die, where he go? Uh, in general, he should go to heaven, but I know from your content that uh, Prophet Muhammad said he may or may not. Why? No, I don't know. It might be Allah's will. Ah, again, so there is no free will because if you go to heaven, you go to heaven because of your act or because you are because you commit no act. Why you go to heaven? So it's kind of like the Christian teaching. Salvation is a gift. You may receive it or may not. No, no don't, don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. This is, has nothing to do. Salvation is something you accept. You agree. You take it or you don't take it. This is what it means. You accept Jesus. You don't accept Jesus. It's your business. Here, this is a child. He's a baby. He did not accept God. He did not reject God. He have no idea what God is even, even is. So why he will go to hell? What is the possibility to go to hell? Because of destiny. Muhammad, he said, because Allah, he created for who in hell and who is in paradise when they are in their mother line and their father backbone so there is no free will in islam it's written before you are born he this is the child this is a baby child he is not even a month or two old and aisha she is witnessing she think aisha that because he's a child he will go to heaven so she say okay look this child he's a bird from the birds of paradise a prophet muhammad he said don't be stupid it might be the other, other way for Allah created for people of paradise and people of hell when they are in their father backbone which is scientifically wrong too so here there's no free will again all of this conf confirm the same story that when you are in the backbone of your father Allah he decide if you go to hell or not it doesn't it's not your sin it's not a deed it's a, it's a lie the deed of not deed a bad deed good deed it's a lie in Islam because as you see this is a child He's born uh, 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 from a Muslim family. Not like we can't say he's born from a Christian family, so he will. Uh, and even Muhammad, he said every person is born as a Muslim. So even a child of a Christian family, according to Muhammad, is a Muslim. So why he will go to hell? Yeah, he must not go to hell. But but he's saying you might feeling. go. But he's saying you might go. So why? Simply because Muhammad, you do not know why. Because Allah, He decide already. It's not because there is. If you do this, you get that. No, in Islam, it's, Islam is a stupid religion. It does not work this way. So the Quran and Muhammad's statement, full of contradictions. Once he says those who do good deeds, they will go to heaven. And then he says the one who do good deeds, who care? At the end of the day, it's what Allah wrote for you is going to happen. What, what this child did? Why this child will go to hell? No reason. Yeah. So obviously, it's what Allah He wrote for you. You pray, you don't pray, it doesn't matter. There is a distance of a cubit between you and heaven, instead, you'll go to hell. And this is why He said, La amanu makra Allah. I cannot, I cannot trust the deception of Allah. This is why my book, my first book, is called The Deception of Allah. All right, Muhammad. Thank you very much, my friend, for yeah. calling. And um, let me hear from you again. Do some study for what I showed you. And call me, maybe you can get some answers. All right, my friend? All right. Thank okay, you. Take much. care. Take care.